Hey everybody, welcome to the Good Friday um, Gospel Reflection at the Triduum. Triduum? I never know how to say that. The Triduum Retreat for CatholicRetreats.net. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyrion Leonard. I'm the creator of CathoCurious, um, which is a YouTube channel designed to reach those who do not know Christ. The Gospel today is from the Gospel of John and is obviously kind of like the passion reading uh, according to John. And as I was reading through it, I was really struck by Peter's reaction. Right? It's so relatable. I mean, come on, how many times have we been like, oh yeah, I'm just like not gonna say that I'm a Christian right now, or like kind of hide the fact that I'm a Christian right now, or, you know, we're, I'm in the workplace, so maybe I'm not gonna make the sign of the cross and pray over my lunch, that sort of thing. Yeah, totally guilty, totally guilty. Um, but the thing that really struck me is how easy it would be, especially during these difficult times, to hide that we're a Christian, right? Because it's like people are looking around, all this madness happening everywhere, horrible things happening. Where is God? If there is a God, where is he? How can you be a Christian right now? God's not showing up. But I think that's a temptation and a big lie coming straight from the, the devil. Because honestly, we don't know. We cannot know what God is going to work through this crisis through this pandemic, we don't know what good he's going to bring. You know, we can't scrutinize the works of God as we, as we learn from scripture. We cannot know the mind of God. So even though it seems counterintuitive, this is the exact moment to stand up and say, I am a follower of Jesus. I'm a Christian. I'm a Catholic. And I believe that God is going to work good through this evil, through this difficulty. I look at the cross, Jesus on the cross, the ultimate price ever paid, the biggest sacrifice ever made, and I see massive parallels between his sacrifice and the sacrifices currently being made. I don't think it's any coincidence or accident that the people we're, we're applauding currently right now are the people who are making the biggest sacrifices. The medical workers who are literally risking their lives every day to go to work and care for the people sick with this virus. The truckers who are keeping supply lines open all the while risking their health. Those who are trying to keep food and goods on the shelves of grocery stores. I mean, those, those sacrifices, we love them because we see the reflection of Jesus' face in them. So as I was praying today about what to share with you all, Jesus said something interesting to me. He said, have you ever been to a wedding that's like gorgeous and beautiful and they have clearly put a lot of time, effort, and money into it and no one's really having a good time? Everyone's just sort of sitting around, nobody's dancing, no fun being had. Jesus is like, that's you guys right now. What? Yeah. He paid an extravagant price to save our souls. And how often is it that the Triduum come and go and Easter come and go and we eat a nice meal and we dress up in our nice clothes and we say, thank you, Jesus, for a wonderful Easter. And then we go on with our lives. Honestly, I think the kids get it right. And maybe just because we gave them sugar, I don't know. But basically, they're the only ones who are actually excited that it's Easter. So I feel like God is saying in a new way, even in the midst of this difficulty, rejoice. Rejoice and be glad for the price that was paid. Jesus, I thank you so much for my brothers and sisters. I thank you so much for all you're doing in their hearts, in their minds, in their souls, in their families, in their homes, especially during this crisis and time of difficulty when it seems like nothing is being accomplished. Lord, I thank you for all that is being wrought 
through them and in them. Jesus, I ask you to spread a peace on this earth, a peace and a knowledge of your goodness, of your greatness, and of your unfailing help. Lord, I know it seems like so much is helpless, so much is hopeless. But I ask you to give us peace and help us to accept the grace that you're giving us during this time. I thank you for all of our retreat participants, and I entrust them to the Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.